now let's see how do we use the events and methods that we that we create in in one component inside another component okay so in example 04 component i've created an event and i will mark this interface checkbox and i've created a method extract data and i marked also the interface checkbox here as i mentioned in my um, you know the second or third tutorial whenever you do this interface whenever you check this interface checkbox uh, all those methods and events will appear in the interface controller which means that you can use this you can call these events you can you can use use this method inside uh, inside other components okay so let's see how do we uh, how we can um, use this methods and events okay so the extract method uh, extract data method is basically has some extraction uh, select statement for the y movie table right just as a select statement and it has an uh, export parameter it can code table okay so I'm going to the example 06 and we will see how do we use that that particular method to populate the table okay um, just for the demo purpose I'll create table 2 Okay. I'll bind this mm. a new context node in the view 6 which refers to Y movie. This refers to Y movie and the cardinal to 0 to n. sorry okay and I'll create a new table okay I'll create a new table already um, I'll bind this to the new context that we just created with the names movies and say okay okay and uh, I'll create a button The name button two. Okay. So the name will be trigger interface method. Okay. It will be button. So now, uh, to display the data in this particular table, what you need to do is you just need to fill in the uh, fill in the context node movies that we created in View Six. That's all. So that we will do in the action handler of the button two. Okay. Let's go to the action handler of that. Okay. As usual, we'll just okay. Ah, yeah. Sorry. So here. Uh, we can use uh, we can use the interface method that we created in example 04 right so this has extraction logic from Y movie table that we can use so instead of writing select statement here I'm going to call that method from that component okay um, how can you do that? You can just go to the code widget again, go to the general tab, and there's something on method call in used controller. Okay. I go to the component use. Mm. Okay, I don't see the example 04 here. It's because I forgot to tell you something. Um, so this is the view. You want to use that particular component 04. Uh, you have to explicitly define a component use in the view as well so I just click on create and say the interface controller okay save it now come back to the method now go to the code wizard 
now so I have it here okay so which method you want to use I want to use extract data okay okay so this will go to let's say LT underscore tab define um, T underscore tab type Y movie okay so I have the data now what I need to use I just need to set this movies context node with that particular internal table LT underscore tab so I'll just say LT underscore tab that's it just activate it I'll go back to the browser just refresh it okay so we have a table um, don't worry I mean because the descriptions are not there uh, it's appearing a bit weird uh, now as a trigger interface method and then we have the data okay so let's just see again what what exactly you know happened when we click on clicked on that button so we've created an action handler for that button right so the system goes to the action handler and we're calling the extract data method of the example 04 component it's because it's possible because we've created a, a component usage here for the example 04 so I can access the methods which are defined uh, inside the interface controller so I've called that method which has select statement to extract the data from YMovie and I'm taking that to the LT tab and I'm binding the LT tab to the context node movies that I defined in the view 6 and because I've binded movies context node to the table table 2 that I've created so that's where the data appears in the table 2 so these are how we call the methods of different components okay now I've also defined an event here right so how do we make use of this event um, the way to do that is in v4 if you see I've created a button here okay it's called trigger event now that button has action handler now in the action handler I've created a uh, I mean I have a bunch of code to trigger the event get data right so that's that's, that's the event name now this this uh, code can also be generated using uh, you know code wizard right so you go to the code wizard and select method call in used controller and you select the component controller of that component under the methods I have something called fire get data EBT so that's how I generated this code right so now let's just go back to the start with this so what I'm doing here in the action handler is I'm just firing the event right but then there is no event handler defined in this particular component anywhere so that event handler I'll define in this component I'll go to the methods tab and I'll say I'll create a method with name int event handle basically interface event handler and I will select this is an event handler type method so I'll say interface event handler okay now, now the interesting part is this is an event handler method okay but then what is the event that it should react to and that event 
comes from what controller. So you select a component use for help and it will pop up everything. So this event handler should react to an event called get data which is part of the interface controller of this component uses which means example 04 right so when you trigger an event which belongs to example 04 interface controller and if that event is get data then system will call this method okay so now this method inside this method I can write a code whatever I want to do I want to populate a table or I want to you know give a message I want to navigate to some other view you can do anything here so you can implement the event handler in whatever way you want okay uh, for right now you know we'll do what uh, we were doing uh, we'll create a table and we'll try to populate it so I'll create another table um, okay, but right now what we'll do we'll just uh, fill the table so I'll create another view container UI element view container 2 view container UI element okay um, and then I'll okay so this, this view container UI element view element and uh, in the methods I'll write the code to populate the table okay and then once I have the data I'll bind the Can, uh, I'll bind this node okay okay now because I have the view container UA element I need to uh, you know embed something here I'll embed the view inside the component 4 basically the interface view okay I'll just activate it and see how it looks in the browser okay so if I say trigger event I can see the data here so let's see how uh, you know how the system actually generates the data, displays the data. Okay, I'll go to the view. Sorry, example 04, right? Yeah. So the trigger event button is here and it has an action handler called click. If I go into that, I've generated a piece of code which will basically fire the event and the event is, is an interface event that you've defined with the name get data right? now the corresponding event handler for this event is not defined inside this component it is defined in example 06 now the way I define that event handler is a bit different from the other event handlers that you see uh, for the buttons right? so this particular event handler uh, gets triggered by the event called get data which is part of the example 04 component interface controller right now what I have inside this event handler is basically I'm selecting data from Y movie and then I'm binding the uh, external node uh, external node uh, context node right? external context node so that's how you get the data here okay so uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial um, we'll uh, 
meet in the next tutorial thanks for watching bye bye